Hey guys, it's Hoops to Be back with another Bee Swarm Simulator video, and today we're going to show you guys how to defeat the coconut crab. Yes, and the bees are happy. But, uh, well, first I'm going to go and switch into my demon mask, guys, because, well, I need a little bit more boost. So uh, let's go and do that now. Oh, uh, oof. Yeah. Oh, this is always so painful. Why can't we just switch masks? Ah! All right, let's go back and try that again. And here we go. Oh, oof. Oh. oh, boy. Why do they have to make this so difficult? Why can't we just simply just click on something and say switch mask? All right, here we go again. And yay, we made it. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm just going to open the shop and equip the mask. That's all I wanted to do, guys. Wow, you got to do all that work just to quickly get the mask. So if you get the uh, demon mask and the gummy mask, well, you're probably going to be switching between them quite regularly. Because you only really need the demon mask when you're actually defeating mobs, such as the stick bug and also the coconut crab. Also, it's quite handy for the uh, ant quest as well. But the others, you probably don't need it too much at all. So uh, let's go up to the uh, coconut crab field and uh, check it out. Uh, yeah, so here we go, guys. I take this shortcut every time. Now, uh, yeah, this does take a long time. Yes, a, a very long time, but uh, just hop onto the field and stay over this side to start with. Now, hopefully you get a few uh, rage bees because the rage bees are going to give you some extra boost on uh, killing power for your bees. Now, yeah, it's going to take some time though. And, uh, well, I only have level 10 and 11 and even just a few level 12s. And so I get a lot of misses. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute, but uh, there's this coconut uh, drop as well. So basically what happens is the coconut crab moves from side to side. So all you have to do is just run past and you should have enough speed to not get hit. And after he does that a couple of times, about three, uh, he'll sit in the middle of the field and drop coconuts. So you just have to make sure you are out of the way because if you get hit by a coconut, it's all over. So let's uh, just quickly do that now. So I usually tease him with the coconuts in the middle and then I quickly come to the side. So now he got me. Uh, yeah, so it's about five or six coconuts typically. Uh, and you want to be close to the edge as you can because uh, if you're in the middle, he'll just start attacking you before the coconuts have even finished. So yeah, let's get out of the way here and the here as well. And uh, then I just usually push into the side because usually after he's done the one in the side, he won't do another one like that. So you'll also have a few other tokens to pick up. So I have the um, Windy Bee token there, which is kind of handy. Uh, collects me a little bit of pollen, but more importantly, picks up a few tokens for me as well. So uh, really, that's all it is. Uh, see this grey rock here? Well, you can actually jump onto the edge of that. Don't go too far though, or else it'll reset the crab. And yeah, it uh, uses uh, resets all its health as well. So that's not so good. Now the Demon Mask does have that little uh, fire X uh, thing as well. So that does a bit more damage, which is kind of nice. But really guys, uh, to defeat the coconut crab, as you see, we're about a quarter of the way through. You really just need to move backwards and forwards. Um, it's a pretty simple system, and uh, yeah, you just don't want to hit the coconut crab either. But yeah, basically it's the same thing, side to side, and then just avoid the coconuts. Anyway guys, uh, I'm also using stingers as well, because uh, that's just going to give um, my bees a little bit more power to uh, kill the coconut crab. So yeah, definitely use stingers if you've got them. And uh, yeah, ah, wow, that was close. Uh, yeah, and also, obviously, I've got the vicious bee, so there's a big stinger that goes right through them as well. But uh, you can do it with sort of fairly low power bees, guys, so just give it a try. Uh, it can take up to about 10 minutes uh, if you've got a lot of misses. Level 11 bees are probably the minimum you require to be defeat the coconut crab. Uh, a few 12s help as well. Anyway, guys, I'll come back when we actually defeat this coconut crab and I will show you what sort of drop you get on the coconut field. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're very, very close. We are very, very close. So just wait here. Uh, it should actually happen maybe after this. 
Uh, and then we'll be right. Oh, I don't want to. You don't want to die at this point in time after spending all this time defeating the coconut crab. And there's the drop. Yes, we got it. And look at the coconuts, guys. There's coconuts everywhere. Now you can use your token links to pick up all of these tokens. Uh, but uh, well, uh, yeah, I didn't have any on the field. I don't know why. But I guess they're busy killing the crab. But look, you can run around pretty quickly and pick up most of these tokens. So you're going to get quite a few, and you're going to get plenty of these uh, tropical drinks as well so you want to hang on to those because you want to go in and grab yourself the coconut canister eventually and don't forget you can use the coconut dispenser every four hours guys and well they gave me seven coconuts so that's not bad and uh, you basically have uh, about a respawn of about one and a half days for the coconut crab unless you have the vicious bee anyway guys that's all I got time for today and that is how you beat the coconut crab so please like and subscribe, and until next time, it's bye for now.